Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today we will talk about the flip-flop or latch circuit. The circuit has two stable states and can be made to change state by applying signals to one or more control inputs. They are used as data storage elements and form the basis of computer memory, counters, shift registers, etc. They store a single bit of data since one of the states represents a 1 and the other represents a 0. Let's see how the flip-flop circuit works. Suppose that this LED on means that we have a 0 in the memory and if the other LED is on we have a 1. The control inputs are these two push button switches so, for example, if we want to store in the memory a 1, we apply a signal here and this LED is on, which means that the memory has a 1 in it. If we want to change the state and store a 0, then we apply a signal to the other control input. And the system will stay in that state as long as we do not apply another signal. This is the schematic. Let's see how the circuit works. We have the two LEDs, four resistors, a couple of transistors and two push button switches. Suppose that this transistor is on. It is on the state of conduction. The current flows through this path and the LED is on. There is also a current that flows in this path to the base of the transistor which makes that the transistor is turned on. Notice that the current cannot flow through this path because it prefers this other path of low resistance. So this transistor remains off and this LED is also off. Now, what happens if we press this switch? The base of the transistor goes to zero volts, so the transistor is now off and the current no longer can flow through this path but now it can flow to the base of the other transistor and this transistor is now on now the current can flow through this path and the other LED is turned on if we now press the second push button it happens the same as before but in the other direction the first electronic flip-flop circuit dates back to 1918, exactly a century ago, and was invented by British physicists. It used vacuum tubes instead of the transistors that we have today. They were used in 1943 in the Colossus code-breaking computer. These computers were used to help decipher encrypted messages in World War II. So there you have it, a very simple circuit, but with very important applications. I hope you have liked the video and see you in the next one.